Welcome to the official WB podcast. COVID slowed us down, but we cannot be stopped. Willie Bermuda is with you, and I'm here with DT, South Florida rapper, recording artist, nice music here. maker. Thank you for being here. Nice to be here. Absolutely, man. So, man, I'm a fan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you know, you. man, like all your Instagram tracks, they're real cool, man. Re really, really cool. Um, and we're going to get into a little bit of how you got into it. And, and, and another side to your music, a lot of people don't know about this, it's really cool, which we're going to get into. If you have an opinion or a question, contact us at williebermudas.com. So DT, how did you get into music this way? Well, so when I was younger, I used to write poems a lot because, you know, poems were like a somewhat of an inspiration to me because of Tupac. Because before Tupac got into music, he was writing poems all the time. And he actually wrote one of his greatest songs on a desk when he was in school. Did he? Yeah, which was actually oh. a poem. So everybody came to the classroom and they're like, whoa, you're writing your lyrics on this table. And he had his homeboy next to him who actually do beats with pencils. So he was like, hey, bro, tap for me real quick. And they just made the song. And that was actually the start of Dear Mama. Really? So, yeah. So poems for me really took a whole branch to music because sooner or later I was just like oh, hearing beats and stuff. And I was just like, you know, I could do this. And then, boom, one day I just woke up and I was making music after music after music. Wow, man. That's really cool. So is Tupac like your first inspiration? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Like, so the secret of Tupac was the industry actually didn't want him in there. He, has to for he had to force his way in. So he brought a CD to Sony. And Sony heard the track and they was trying to tell him that, hey, ah, this is not really. And Tupac was like, listen. You're going to want a black male who really doesn't care a lot about what people say about his music. And I'm just going to be on top no matter what you guys say. And they was like, you know what? Boom, we're going to get you there. And boom, all of a sudden, Tupac, hottest man there was. Yeah, man, he, he was he was huge. Definitely. He was huge, man. But DT, wait, because I think that uh, we should let people hear your music real quick, right? Because so, yeah. I want people to know what we're talking about here. So, so they get to understand your style. Cause I really like your style, man. Cause it's so smooth, you know. It's sort of like Drake today, definitely, right? Like sort of that definitely. style, but it was, but it's still very unique. All right. So what's the track that we're gonna let everybody hear? DT Eli. The track is "Are You Okay." Are you okay, man? That's catchy too. Are you okay? Are you? Okay? So if you're going through something, ask yourself, "Are you okay?" All right. So let's check out the track. Are you okay? Okay, purple or the green, no way I just need a perky float away I might need a bitch, no way Okay, okay, yeah He might need some help, no way, yeah He might date a slut, no taste, yeah I can't save no bitch, no okay, yeah I might want to love but step away, yeah Feelings of the sun but hate them days, yeah Tired of feeling this pain, I'm holding in rage, yeah Just let go, just let go, just let go Spinning the range while fucking this bitch in the rain, yeah I don't want love, I just wanna bust in your face, yeah You wanna taste, so sorry, come swallow my kiss, yeah you wanna taste with shawty, come show me your skills, yeah huh? Up and down the way she goes, she just like to tease the girl Fuck her good to make her go, treat her nice, you lose yourself Up and down the way she That was Are You Okay by DT And that's a jam, that's a jam, I heard it for the first time on your Instagram I remember when you first put it out, it wasn't too long ago yeah. Ran real smooth, real catchy, I hope you guys like it as well So DT, Tupac was your first inspiration Yes. Who is your current living so, inspiration? So my, well, my current inspiration is actually my brother who actually makes music and his rapper name is Say Primetime. And he's like a new generation Lil Wayne. So this man literally goes in the studio, doesn't hear a beat, but out of nowhere can create a whole song 
for you in zero seconds. And it actually is super catchy. And another inspiration is like Drake, Polo G. My favorite out of all times was Juice World because that man right there, 10 minutes in, freestyling, nonstop, no air, like no air breathers. He was just topping off the head, anything. Juice yeah. World. Juice World. Man, I gotta tell you, I think I'm a little bit old, man. Never heard of the guy. Ah. I mean, is he still around? Nah, he, see, the bad thing was because, so Juice World music was for people who had to deal with depression, anxiety, and all the things that the world threw at you. And he unfortunately died on a plane from overdose. On a plane, though. Yeah. On overdose, but on a plane. On a plane. Wow, man. That's unique. Since yeah. it, you know, typically people die of overdoses, but not, you know, like on a plane. Yeah, it, it's actually related to his song because he said, He's gonna go out flying, and one of his songs he is called Legends. Um, he says Legends doesn't really make it to be twenty one. So you know, twenty one mm. club, all Legends die at twenty one, and unfortunately, the new artists who really die like Pop Smoke, Juice World, are, him, him, I've heard of Pop Pop, Pop yeah, Smoke, I've heard of. They have died at twenty one. So it's like when you become a legend, a lot of people aim to hurt you and stuff. So you gotta really be careful of what you do and the next moves mm. you make. Wow, on a plane. Kind of okay, okay. All right, so that's like your inspiration right there as far as those few. Yeah, as far as a few. Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, even though this is kind of like being a little braggish, but I'm my favorite inspiration. You're your favorite inspiration. I'm my favorite inspiration. Man, I, let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong with that, man. You got to be confident, especially if you try to do music. Yes. That's a highly competitive field right there. Definitely. Me, honestly, I go in a studio. I hear a beat, bump, you got a song. I get, I make a hook in like five seconds and five minutes later, I'm done with the whole song. And he'd be like, whoa, how do you do that? And I'd just be like, well, you just gotta listen to the beat. The beat gonna give you the lyrics. You just gotta go with it. That's cool, man. The beat's gonna give you the lyrics. All right, man, how about this, man? Does the music, the beats, and the lyrics give you the ladies? <sighs> yes. I got you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay, so the way my music works, right? is I relate to both genders. So woman, male, I make songs for both. And you know, I literally talk about what women are going through today's days are like women, a lot of women are hurt. So I make music for women who are hurt to make them feel better about themselves because you know, if nobody's gonna appreciate you, me and my music will. Okay. So you're that guy, man, to take care of them ladies then? Yeah. Okay, man, we got the lady killer right here, DT. Talented with music, but taking care of the ladies. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Nah, man, that's good stuff, man. Really good stuff. So, what direction do, do you see your career going in? I mean, where would you like to take your music to? So, the direction right now, my music is really increasing. So, I just checked my plays like two days ago. I got plays in South Africa and London and Israel. So, my music is spreading everywhere right now. And actually, a very, a very famous TikToker uses my music for his videos. So, the direction right now is really upcoming on the road. And in the future, I just want to make music for everybody to like vibe to and understand. Like, I just want to let people know that I understand what you're going through and I'm not scared to put in a song for you. Okay. Man, let me tell you, man. So I see you got a plan going on and you got the talent for it too. No, you know? Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Which, you know, it's, you're going to have a plan, but you got to have the talent too. Gotta you know? Talent. But then you got to have the persistent. How my yeah. buddy, uh, Miami actor Eliza Castro, you know, uh, he, he was he, he was letting me know that sometimes this is not in your case, but there's sometimes where the talent is not that great, but the persistence is more on the talent and it actually gets you there. Yeah. Right. So it's crazy. So he's like, even, even when you don't have a lot of talent, you got to have persistence. So in your case, you have a lot of talent. You just need the persistence as well. Yeah. You know, but um, no, man, good stuff. Good stuff. We have to take a break right after the break. Um, Let's talk about relationships. Okay. I understand that your friends call you the relationship doctor. Definitely. So I want to hear all about it. We'll be right back. WB Podcast. You are tuning in to the Willie Bermudez Podcast. Doing it right. Está sintonizado en el programa oficial de Willie Bermudez. Here, we discuss world topics, business, and positive living. Los temas más interesantes cada semana con Willy. Fazer o que está certo con Willy Bermúdez. Agora. Willie Bermúdez, back with you. WB Podcast. I'm here with DT, rapper and South Florida recording artist. 
DT. They call you also, aside from a talented uh, rapper, recording artist, they also call you, a re- your friends call you a relationship doctor. Definitely. Talk to us, doctor. What's going on with these relationships nowadays? Okay, so nowadays relationships are really never 50-50, and that's a major problem, first of all. We need to address that relationships to be 50-50. And a lot of women in Florida generally feel like men should do everything for them, but that's not really? the case. Really? Oh, hold on, man. We got to take these other parts. So women out here, all right, in the 305, in 786, 305. <laughs> right? 561, 954. So they're not about um, meeting somebody halfway. Never. So they have expectations where the man should do everything or pay for everything. Is that what you're saying? Definitely, definitely. Oh, man. Women, women expectations are a little too high because, you know, what do you, they want to know what we bring to the table, but what do you bring to my table? You know mm. what I'm saying? How can you bring something to my table that I already have? So you can't benefit for me because I already have the benefits. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a very materialistic city, pretty much. Definitely. You know? So there's probably other parts in the country which are not quite this way. I feel it. Or, or, or did it spread everywhere now? Uh, it generally has to do with women listening to female artists and what they say. Because a lot of female artists play a big role in women's lives nowadays, like Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B. Not saying they're not good artists, but the lyrics that they say empower women to do the bad. You know, Cardi B definitely does that, right? Yeah, because it's like, it's teaching women that, okay, your body is money. You tra- oh, you right there, you money. said it. We're, we're, no, but wait, that, that was real strong, what you said. Your body is money. Your body is money. Wow. It's true. It's true. That's the message sent. Like the OnlyFans thing, right? Uh, Which is some new, because it, you know, it, it, it's not old, right? It hasn't been around for you know no. 10 years. It's fairly new. But you see women on there that normally would never have done that, but they're doing it now. So the thing with OnlyFans is really crazy how women won't go to college nowadays because OnlyFans will make them rich. You know what I'm saying? Wow. OnlyFans became the biggest platform to make millions of dollars off of women selling their bodies and everybody just choosing to be doing something that's like, okay, I would never second think to be a porn star. But now OnlyFans is here and this is my career for the rest of my life. But did you hear about OnlyFans actually shutting down from that? No. Yeah, they're actually thinking about changing from an adult platform because they don't want that. They don't want that no more. They want to take a different way into a new generation. They want to be the next TikTok. But even TikTok has its own situation over there. It's not meant for kids to be on TikTok because TikTok has a lot of twerking and just for women to use their body again. Yeah, but there's, yeah, but you're right. TikTok has really young girls, 14, 15, that happen to look a little older yeah. and their body's a little more developed. And they go out there and then grown men, older men, you know, find themselves following and, and becoming fans of these young girls. Yeah, see, uh, that's the problem we have now, you know, because a lot of men feel like if, because, you know, what they say is the younger they are, the easier they are to manipulate and use their mind. So that's why older guys tend to go after younger girls. It's different for me because me, I always grew up liking older women. Oh, okay, you know? man. You're about the wolf pack. Yeah, I'm about, uh-huh. to, I'm about to. You know, they call me famous <laughs> Cougar Scout. I actually made a song about it. You're a it. Cougar Scout. I'm a Cougar Scout. <laughs> that's <laughs> a good one, man. I made a song. I actually, my friend, my friend, his name is Nico. So he loves that song because, you know, we, we both like the same thing, older women, because older women bring something to the table. They don't play around. They don't play games because they're not childish. Mm, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. I like, see, for me, is I like my women to be, you can be a little childish, but I like my women to know their role in life, you know what I'm saying? To have goals, not wanting to be, like, playing around in life. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, be goal-oriented, you know? Yeah. Um. And then, you know what, going back to, to your original statement, the 50-50, you also want them to, to be the type that are willing to meet you halfway. Yeah. You know? It's crazy because in one of my songs, I actually stated that, um, treat I stated, treat her nice, you lose your soul. So that, that lyric was a metaphor for, you know, if you treat a girl too nice, the new word is simp. You're a simp now, so she's simp. a simp. That you got to break down for me, man, because I'm not familiar. Oh, okay, so... If a simp is a guy who would use all his money for a girl and wouldn't care to have anything back in return. So she can use you, you're her tool, her puppet. So you're a simp. So I was telling you, I was in my lyrics, I was stating that if you treat a girl too nice, she will feel like you're a simp and just use you. So in Spanish, brother, we call that guy in Come Mierda. That's, that, that's what we call that guy in Spanish. 
That guy's a loser. Oh, that guy man. right there. Yeah, but women, women generally don't have the right taste in men nowadays. Honestly, I would say because all the women I have watched growing up, they always go for the bad guy. It's literally like movies. They play it out like movies. Mm -hmm. Go for the bad guy. He break their heart. Boom! All men are evil. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how does one guy cause so much damage? Yeah, but they do. But but remember, the flip side of that is a lot of women cause damage too. You know what I mean? <sighs> And, you know, and then you get a good guy that, that doesn't want to be a good guy no more because a bad girl, a bad woman broke his heart. Yeah, to be honest with you. You get it, man. It's crazy what's happening. To be honest with you, you know? a lot of women call me toxic. So being toxic, this is what being toxic is, right? Being toxic is you know you could be a good guy, but rather than be a guy, good guy, you rather not get stepped on. So you won't take nothing. You won't take bullshit from no women. So they call me toxic because they know I'm more, I'm a dominant male. So have you ever heard the saying that Women tend to go after betas rather than alphas. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so I'm an alpha, so I won't. Oh, so am I. I'm definitely a dominant man. Def so. Def definitely. Because <laughs> they got to get other. Definitely. I I'm definitely with you on that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm an alpha. So for all my alphas out there, if I ever see like a woman trying to step on me, I get very like protective over my territory, like just me in general. Like I'd be like, whoa, whoa, hey, calm down there because uh, we don't play them games around here. We're not no regular guy. Okay? Right. <laughs> I like that. I like it, man. I like it. Yeah. And yeah, so basically your music has a lot of these influences, meaning like these conversations that we're having yeah. right here, you know, like some of these lyrics are actually in there. Yeah. So you know? definitely my music contains, I, my music just speaks about how, my music speaks for how you could be a simp and how you can transform from out of being a simp. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's good to be loving and caring, but slow it down a little bit don't just jump in there you know you know you got some guys in miami they just jump in the relationship and be like oh i love you and they only met this girl for one day like how do you do that <laughs> how do you love her like what? you love her for oh you just met her you love her yeah like, yeah yeah talking about i give her the world no that's a simp you nah see? man we don't want simps around here man this is this is a, the zim free zone <laughs> yeah this is big shark world over here this alphas we alphas so a lot of guys just like they just jump in and stuff like i love you and stuff Oh, I want to marry you. I want to have kids with you. Not knowing that you're scaring this girl. Like, you're crazy to her now. You're you're a simp. Like, she don't want this. <laughs> she want a guy when she be like, oh, oh I love you. I love you, babe. And he just look and be like, yeah, yeah. All right. I hear what you're saying. And she be like, so you're not going to say it back? I'm um, not. Nah, I don't feel that way yet. You know what I'm saying? Right, because you're stating the truth. Stating you the don't truth. feel that way yet. You don't feel that way. You know, you say it when you feel it, right? Whether yeah. it's in six months, whether it's in a year, you know, whatever. You know? Most thing, I really do believe that women fall in love first. You know what I'm saying? Women fall in love that first, that first two to three seconds they look at you, women fall in love. Simple as that. Wow. Interesting, man. Okay. So in that first two to three seconds, she knows that she like you. She's just waiting to see what you do. That's what women do. Like most guys want to post a woman, they get their friends to do it. The wrong move. Women don't like that. Women like a guy that's gonna walk up to them and be like, hey, you got a boyfriend? No, all right, come on. You coming with me then. You know <laughs> Why were you DT, playing ladies and gentlemen, that's DT, relationship doctor. Yeah. You know, it's crazy because most people don't even know what DT stands for. And DT actually stands for a nickname I gained in middle school. It was a crazy story. Middle school, I used to be a player. So I used to have all the women. And there was this one specific girl that liked me. And People used to always be like, why do you do her like that? And I used to be like, because, you know, I'm so young. What am I falling in love for? And she wants love. Can't give that right now. I'm so young. I'm like 14. <laughs> what do I know about love? <laughs> so they called me. They was like, you know what? You're always on demon time. And I was like, oh, that's catchy. So it was like, DT. Oh, so it's demon time. DT, demon time. Because, oh, you wow. know, okay. me, and you know, I'm a party guy. So it was like, hey, it's like, it's like what Pop Smoke said, you know? Pop so said, I'm a doc, get me lit. So, hey, <laughs> if you want to get lit, then all right, I'm going to join you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, nowadays, most women, they go up here. And when you meet them up here, they go down here. And they'd be like, damn, that's a good point, actually. They'd be like, yeah, I can see that. You know? They'd be like, so why would you take me to level 100 if you're going to come back down to level 20? Yeah. And women, women just like a good laugh, you know? Teaser, that's what they call it. Women love teasing men. Yeah, but a guy that's like, he keeps them on their toes, off balance. Yeah. All right, bro? Can't you know, give them too much, can't give but gotta give them just enough. Yeah, you know what the, the trick is to women? It's a trick, right? Women not gonna tell you this, but women love to chase a man. And they swear they don't. That's the trick. Women love to chase a man. And I promise you, they do. 
but they swear they don't because nine times out of ten, women expect to get what they want easy, right? Because you know they add the dad in their life who gives them everything. And that's his princess. When we don't do it, now they're like, wait, hold up, what's the reason? You're not giving them a reason, so now she want to figure it out. She's chasing you. You're not chasing her, and she's doing whatever to do to please you. And what it becomes is it becomes this like this little mind game, and it's like, I know what she's waiting for. She's waiting for, oh, I love you and I, I want to date you. But what I'm giving is, oh, we're cool, we're cool friends. So this is not a step farther than this. Wow, that makes a lot of sense, man. Let me tell you, man, you're young but wise, because right. a lot of those points. Are, are, are familiar to me you know what I mean yeah meaning you know they make a lot of sense and, and it's something I probably analyzed um yeah man you know in, in other episodes I, I've definitely you know discussed how much times have changed you know how much women have changed from what used to be before yeah. you know and for some people that's probably good for people with more conservative values and leanings it's not so good you yeah. know but um yeah me I miss I miss that old school love I'm not gonna lie that 80s, 90s love. I wasn't born back then, but uh, I know what it was like. I missed that love. I mean, the music. How about the music, man? Oh, you know? Oh, man. The slow jams. You know what I'm talking about. Them guys are they how their heart is out for the women. I was like, what? <laughs> this is what music was. Back then, it wasn't no cell phone. Oh, I could text no, you. So, hey. hey, listen. Cell phones change the change at all, man. Change the game. Man, you know, for us, listen, we had pagers for a little while, but it's not the same thing. We had pagers, man, and we felt free. We would go out, you know, somewhere and we didn't have the attachment, right? Today, everybody's like, if you lose your phone, bro, oh. it's like you lost a, a part of you yes. and you're freaked out. Back then, you were free, man. You could go somewhere yeah. and just relax. You know you what know? that is, though? So what it is for people when they lose their phone, they're so attached to being Instagram famous, TikTok famous. When they lose their phone, they lose their whole world. Yep. That phone is their world. Because if, if you ever snatch somebody's phone. Oh, trust me, they're about to become the worst person on this planet. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> like, yeah, but yeah. No, but honestly, we all become guilty. I remember that I traveled to Peru, right, to visit a friend of mine. He just passed away recently, actually. I uh, mean, a good friend. Um, I went there, and near the hotel or at the hotel, I actually thought I lost my phone. And I went through a very traumatic experience. I spent like an hour. Sorry, sorry. You, know, you know, granted, I'm also in another foreign country, you know, like oh, I'm yeah. in a foreign country, by my, you know, by myself visiting, you know, a friend. Um, but yeah, I was there and, and I'm searching and searching high and low, high and low, and I couldn't find it, you know, and I finally found it, right? But that that hour was terrifying. Yeah. So so I get it. it. It's like we've become conditioned to be so attached, you know, to like electronics and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, electronics it, on its own takes another you know, detour into relationships, away yeah. from relationships, you know? Because, you know, so. you'll never know when a woman cheating on you because of the phone, honestly. You know, you could be laying up with a woman thinking you're in love and stuff, you guys are good, not knowing that when you leave, she already got her side piece coming over and bam, you're a fool. Or a simp. Or a simp. <laughs> simp. You know, my favorite catchphrase is, you know, if you do something, you got to see it through, my boy. You got to see it through. You, you got to see it through. Got to see it through. Hey, man, on that note, man, we're going to see it through. Thank you for being here, man. Uh, All right, man. DT, man. DT, DT music, man, is happening. You know, it's happening. Send us more updates, man. More new music, oh. man. We want to know all about it, man. Got you. You know, I mean, I invite you back, you know, to the podcast, man. We'll do another um, show, uh, play some more new music. Love it. Um, but yeah, man, you know, following your Instagram is, 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 is so much fun, man. Yeah, you know? I actually got a whole so. album coming up on this month at the end of the month, the 30th. And I have another song dropping on June 4th. Well, we really want to know about both. We want to know about the album and the new track. So yeah. keep, keep me posted so I can keep everybody posted. Yeah, got you, definitely. Th thank you, DT. Our friends, that it is our time. Thank you for joining me on the official WB podcast. Tune in every week for a new episode and contact us anytime at WillieBermudis.com. Follow us on social media, every platform, Willie Bermudis, just my name, full name. No nicknames, no nothing, just Willie Bermudis. Have a great one and don't text and drive. Subscribe to watch new episodes, be a guest, or advertise on the Willie Bermudis podcast by visiting williebermudas.com and listen via audio on all major podcast platforms.